Archives 1, Gifts from the Fallen and Idealism. I mean, this one you should always take. It's super broken, but I'm gonna reroll it. Because it's not too exciting. I want uh, Ancient Archives. Yeah, I don't want Idealism, Spoils of War. Nah, it's just Ancient Archives. That's more fun. Ooh, we got a two-star. Jinx. I get this. This is really good. And then a two-star Jinx. And honestly, then I just level and play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. How do I get ten? Oh, great. Oh, I have two Invoker, that's why. Ah, I realized it's too late. I should have played this instead then. I have nine only. Should I still pop it with nine? I think I still have to pop it with nine. If I win this fight, I have to pop it. If I win this fight. I still have Zone odds. I have to pop it. I'll just pop it. I need to keep going with the win streak, hopefully. I have to pop it. I have to pop it. I still have good odds for good stuff. It's fine. It should be okay. It should be okay, man. It's a little bit unfortunate, though. You want 8 or 10 trades here listed. Because that's... The best for the book. I mean, I could easily get 10 now with some good trades as well. Nah, it's just a pop. Ah, it's just Gunner. It's okay. Sell this trash. Okay, so we do have an early Jinx, which is great. The problem is... I don't know my zone yet. I need to know my zone. But we have an early two-star Jinx. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get one shot here by this freaking guy. Wow, that was lucky. Because that was... So unlucky, and then it was lucky. Was made for me. Mm, nice. That's actually pretty good. I'll keep her for quite some time. Uh, I mean, I kind of want... Okay, I don't want this. I don't want this. The question is, do we level up? Level up for either two bruiser instead of this, but then we lose... We lose the thing. I could level and play two bruiser instead of... This is the best I can do. Okay, so we hopefully get a full win streak. Then we have a Gunner Emblem. I was hoping for Zone, obviously. Like, that's what you should always hope for. But honestly, I'm down with the Gunner Emblem because it's more fun. Zone is, uh, like, I I'm sitting here, guys, playing against three Zone players every game. I'll definitely take the Gunner Emblem. Uh, if we do get... If we do get um, Robotic Arm as our first zone mode, it's a GG, bro. I'm winning this game. Uh, because it's also the summit. Starting at stage 3, gain it. A lesser champion duplicator. Like, you just get the duplicator. So for the Jinx reroll, I can just go 3-star Jinx. I mean... I'm definitely playing Jinx, right? I'm probably playing Jinx. I'm last pick. We'll just see what we get. I'll just take whatever. I'm not sure if I need Last Whisper. Oh, there's a Jinx, though. I think I take the Hurricane. Because I'm playing Jinx, I'll play uh, four Gunner at least, because I have a Gunner Emblem. So Hurricane with the bonus damage is just really good. There's a saying, never fight Ionians on their home soil. I definitely don't need this guy. I go Hurricane. I'm so strong. I have a Yasuo. Yasuo doesn't do that much, though. Is it better than Bruiser? It, it has to be better than Bruiser. I mean, it has to be. This has to be the best. And then we just sell Tristana. This has to be better, yeah. Especially now that I have the 2-star. She should be fine as a 2-star. I'm just gonna frontline her as well. This guy's level 4. Easy win. Not bad. No one's gonna contest my Jinx. He has the boss reroll. That's good. 
is it uh, contests a two cost reroll. That isn't Jinx. So we get e uh, Jinx easier. This guy's going uh, Sniper's Focus Tristana reroll. That's uh, actually pretty good, I think. That's a little bit of a scary thing. We'll see how scary it will be. For Challenger, GG. I guess I won't sell her. Okay, now what? Now what? Um, we're hoping for, honestly... Just a lot more Jinxes. I need to drop a lot more Jinxes. I'm rerolling Jinx at 6. I'm definitely playing Jinx because I basically have 5. This will give me 2 uh, lesser champion duplicators. And then it will give me... Um, the good duplicator, the legendary duplicator. So, um, yeah. We get a full win streak. We didn't fight this guy. This guy... Seems like he's losing his win streak. Unless the set 1v5s. I don't expect that. It's a one-star set. Pretty sure the set is gonna get cocked. So I'm the only one with a full win streak. That's really good. That's a really good setup so far. I do not need... I really are. I do not need I really are, do I? Nah. No way. Okay, so hope for, just hope for a robotic arm. Robotic arm, and we're good to go. This is trash. This is honestly trash as well. I would rather hold these guys. Oh, set. I mean, set is better than this. Ionia is really good for Irelia. Hi. For the tankiness. Ionia gives us more... Like, gives us so much tankiness. And my damage dealer is mainly uh, Jinx, so... No need for this trash. There's an Echo. I sold the set. That was a little bit dumb. Should have sold the other guy. These items are okay. They're okay. They're okay. I mean, it's still better than nothing, I guess. And then I'll just level here because I'm so strong if I level. My synergies are absolutely disgusting. My synergies are actually disgusting. There's no way I lose. I'm going sword on her. And I want to go... Uh, I don't want to go Bloodthirster on her, of course. I want to go another Hurricane. Ah, he just hit 2-star. But he, he only has a Titan. It's actually a really bad item. On set. It's actually one of his worst items. Because he's getting the same stats from Titans as he's getting from his Augment. And uh, the Augment outshines the Titans. Like, the Titans is basically a droplet in the ocean. In terms of the AP and... Uh, AP and... Yeah, that it gives... And the AD, he doesn't care that much, yeah. And of course the resistances are not bad, but uh, Gargoyles is much better, for example. But he did, he, did, he did get really bad items, to be honest. He has some really bad items there for the set. That is pretty unlucky. Um, magnetic Remover, Transfusion, it's definitely not Transfusion. Oh, Branching Out, I'll just YOLO it, Tiny Titans. I mean, Red Buff is not bad, but I think it's just Branching Out, just YOLO it. Get a good Augment here, a uh, good Emblem here, I'm chilling. That is just ridiculous. Uh, do we reroll something? I think we reroll the belt. The belt is not really needed. The cloak, the cloak is not really needed either. But I can go double hurricane. It's not that bad. GG. Unstable chem tank. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're not even going for uh, Jinx to reroll anymore. Because I didn't find a lot of Jinxes. I'm just gonna push my advantage here. I'll just keep pushing the win streak. <laughs> I mean, this is not even lucky, guys. That's the thing. That's the sad part, man. You don't see the unlucky games. There was a lot of them. I actually hate this game from the bottom of my heart now. These are all of these unlucky games. The only way... This game can become fun again is if I am... If they make it a 4D game. It has to be a 4D game. And while I'm playing the game, under my table, 
Kaisa, Kaisa's whole upper body needs to spawn. True. And we're not talking just we're not talking just the head. We're talking the whole upper body. If you know what I'm saying, guys. Like we need we need everything, guys. I'm just saying. I'll keep it a buck fifty, guys. It's the only way uh, this game. Yeah. That's the only way I can get lucky. I'm I mean, in both sense. I mean, GG, guys. Uh, Void, Void guys, cool. Void guys, late game specialist. I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. I mean, six Void, but he has so little health already. I don't know about late game specialist in this game. This is good. We fight him right before he hits three star. It's really good. It's really, really good. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Yasu. Like, I'm, I'm fine. I have 20 gold. Gold. I'm definitely gonna try to just go level nine with this exact team. The cloak is a little bit cringe. I'm just gonna take whatever I get here, as always. We'll see what we get. Um, I play six zone. I play four four gunner. Six zone, four gunner, and then we don't really have room. For Sejuani and stuff, so we need armor pen. That'd be nice to get. I mean, honestly, Protector's Vow is so good though. For him, Protector's Vow. Like, I need an item that I can commit now to keep the win streak, I think. Oh, GG. Oh, frick, that's the wrong one. Thing is, I lose four Challenger. It's not even worth. It's actually not even worth. I lose four challenger. What can I get instead? I lose four challenger. I can ditch this. I can play Sejuani, sure. Yeah, now we just want more mocks on him and it's over. That's it. I have a new Jinx to replace the old one. He's level 7, he rolled it down to 0, has a 2 star Karma with strong items. Has 6 Invoker, I think I'm gonna lose this fight unfortunately. He committed to 0. He committed to absolutely 0, that's just... It's not really my fault, it's just how the game goes. Messes up my win streak a lot though, that is very problematic. Wish we avoided him or fought him earlier, where he didn't have 6 Invoker yet much we can do. Hopefully we win this fight. I'm pretty sure we didn't lose because of because of Ionia, so that's fine. Yeah, I mean, this is just the thing, right? They, they, uh, so Riot basically, um, did, did a new patch, and I actually prefer the old patch. I don't like this new patch because one of the changes is Zon. So Zon, you used to not be able to take away these mods. You see? If you just bench them, you had to sell the whole unit. And that made it very high risk, high reward. They didn't actually buff the trade at all. They just buffed that. And buffing the quality of life, basically making it much easier to play, lower skill cap, lower risk, same reward, makes it very overpowered. And so now everyone plays it because it's a very reliable trade. A lot of people are trying to get six zone out because it was always strong. I played the six zone a lot before the patch and it was really powerful, like really, really powerful. If you hit the correct zone mods and everything, you could win games easily with 6 zone. It was risky though, because like right now, let's say I'm playing reroll uh, Jinx, I just gave her an adaptive implant. And I don't know what 6 zone will be, what the 6 zone thingy will be. Maybe it's um, robotic arm, but basically I'm stuck level 6, rolling for this Jinx, and I can't give her this. I cannot give her this, I'm much weaker without this on her because I have to hope for the robotic arm at the end and then I can make that decision, do I wanna, do I wanna risk that, do I not wanna do that and then basically usually I would risk it because that's fun right I mean, I'm definitely going level 8, I'm definitely just going death blade here even though I have 4 gunner it's still worth to go death blade too good and then I have a bad tier the cloak is just a tank item but the tier is really bad and then I'm just playing Jace instead of this 
four, four zone for sure. I'll never need this. I would love to play Freljord, but I just can't. I cannot play Freljord. But yeah, anyway, so basically, long story short, they took away the risks associated with Zon. You... Yeah, they made it much easier to play. Now a lot more people are playing it because there's no risk associated with it. You would oftentimes go dead last because you're risking it. But uh, you're risking it for the biscuit, right? You get the biscuit, you would go first. Now you just get the biscuit, man. You just get the biscuit. So it's a very popular comp right now. It's one of the S tier comps. And uh, I don't agree with this change, but it is what it is, right? They can do whatever they want. It is their game. Portable Forge, Cybernetic Bulk. Cybernetic Bulk, great with Chem Tank for a big explosion. Cybernetic Bulk is not that bad. Portable Forge is not that bad either. Definitely not this. Social Distancing is insane, but we, we have Jace and we don't really want to social distance that much. It is good though, but we already have Deathblade and four Gunners, so I don't think we need that. I think Portable Forge is riskier than Cybernetic Bulk. So I'll just go for the Cybernetic Bulk. And that way, I can also uh, use these trash items and just give uh, Cybernetic Bulk to people. I think that's really good. Cybernetic Bulk on him as well. He's gonna have a Warmogs as well. Hopefully, I'll try to get a Warmogs. But I really want the last Whisper because, again, it will be too hard to play, uh, to play this Freljord thing. Yeah, not, not, not that good of a build, not that good of a build, very greedy build, fun build, but not that good of a set build. The best set build is Hodge for the healing, um, Ionic Spark and Gargoyles, because at the end he's always 1v9, right? So Gargoyles has huge value. Of course he's still gonna beat my freaking team, right? Also he's putting the vision ping, so he's probably listening to me. Again, we have a lot of stream snipers lately. It is what it is, right? Which we'll I can do. Uh, I'm going level 8 here, rolling it down with like 40 gold, a little bit more. This guy's double Ionia emblem. This guy's just the, the void guy. No one is Zeri, huh? That's so good for me. This guy has really good items. Yeah, really good items, honestly. Wow. He's going for a Jinx 3 as well. Good thing I didn't go for that. And then there's one Zeri. Okay, there's one Zeri. He's level 7, has 2 stars already. It's fine though, just one Zeri too. Should be able to hit at level 8, should be fine. Level 8, higher odds, lots of gold. Just need uh, just need Jarvan 2, a Warmogs, and the game is over. Like, I'm sure... Again, that's why I'm not a fan of this... Um... Like, there was so much risk with Zon associated with it, that obviously Jarvan with Camp Tank is honestly overpowered, let's be real. So, um, the risk associated with getting that was very high so there would be maybe like every 10 games you would play against the six zone jarvan with chem tank that would just kill your whole team it would be frustrating but it wouldn't be stupidly frustrating but now that you see it very often like almost every game you see a jarvan exploding onto your team that is just really uh, like it's getting old fast it's getting old very fast so that's a big problem Um, I'll just go for a sword. It's probably just gonna be a Cybernetic Bulk component. I didn't have another Jinx. I, I thought I had another Jinx already. Oh, frick. Actually kind of a problem. And again, I can just put this on her. No problemo. I'm selling this. I'm probably selling my whole thingy package here. I can play Frel Yard. I can't really sell, I can sell these two. I can sell the, the girl. For some reason I thought I had a jeans. Should have duplicated her for it. Oh, for it. Oh, man, come on now. 
Let's not be silly, right? I'm not gonna lose because I don't get a jinx, right? Oh, frick. I will lose because I don't get a jinx. Also, I still have this trash. This needs to go away. And then this guy goes away for jinx. And then... Yeah, I can't really play... Z can't really play uh, this. Like, I could if I ditch the Jarvan, but the Jarvan with Chem Tank is just so, so powerful that it's just silly not to play it. I really want Shojin on, um... I really want Shojin on the girl, actually. I should have duplicated Jinx. Like, I would have just duplicated it with these trash duplicators. Okay, I can't play this. Okay. So I would really enjoy the Shojin on this girl. So just get rid of this guy, we just duplicate him. I thought I had a Jinx, but I sold her very long ago. For some reason I thought I had one, should have paid more attention. That is really cringe. Six Zon. Six Zon would have been very powerful, of course. I get Sunfire. Nice. See, look, robotic arm. So it's just GG, you know. Like, is, isn't that isn't that just a little bit silly? And then, um, I mean, I'm not gonna get full items anymore. I could go Sunfire on the Jarvan. I think it's fine. Like, it's not the juicy kill, but it's still his best. Like, it's still a good item on him because he jumps in. But yeah, I have Robotic Arm Zeri now. I do not have Last Whisper, though. So that's actually a big problem. I do not have Last Whisper. I'm gonna roll down here. I almost have all the two stars. This guy is really good. This guy is actually really good. Oh. Now this is even better. Because now I can get armor pen. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I mean, I just roll for armor pen. I don't need heal reduction. Oh, nice. I should probably duplicate the the echo. Uh, what are we playing here? Who gets the who gets this? Probably not echo, right? Uh, it's probably echo. Just for the bulk, just give it to echo, right? Frick it. Like I have this guy as a tank. Um, two star Scion. See, I rolled. I would say the most gold in the game. I would say at level 8, because he just went level 8. Remember, he donkey rolled at 7 for his 2 stars. So I rolled so much gold at level 8. And I just couldn't hit a 2 star legendary. With the duplicator, even. Another shrink module. I don't think I want double shrink. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just do this. I just do this for now, because she's 4 gunner. And then I'll probably use it on Echo. Then I like my front line is just pathetic, that's the issue. My front line is really pathetic. But it's okay, we have armor pen. We have armor pen now, three star karma. Two star Ari, okay, yeah. I am by far the person that rolled the most gold at level eight, and I did not hit a two star legendary with the duplicator. Remember, they, they all hit because of duplicator. It's it's expected to have a two star legendary here. It's actually expected. Like, it's genuinely expected, I'm not even kidding. With this portal. So, uh, that's pretty unfortunate. No legendary for me. Another zone emblem is actually really good. I can get rid of Warwick. I probably just get rid of Warwick, right? I could go for another gunner emblem and then just play, uh... 
infinite gunner, but I think that's even worse. And Last Whisper is useless. Morello, everything is useless. It's just another go. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just this thing. Let me just check. He probably just griefed me, right? Oh, wow. It's unfortunate. Okay, I mean, I have a... I have a, I have a Heimer 2, though. Um, let me check what I'm doing here. Okay, I think it's just Heimer 2. And then I have a Redemption. Probably just on Urgot. I have Cybernetic Bulk on everybody. I'm gonna go Cyber Bulk on him as well. Okay, nice. <clears throat> I have Cybernetic Bulk on everybody except for her, but who cares about her? And I have a Duplicator. I should have probably duplicated the Warwick. I kind of want to duplicate the Echo. This Echo is more useful. He has the redemption. Okay, so I really need more upgrades. I... Uh, I think I don't need Sunfire. Like, I don't need Sunfire, bro. I can go triple shrink. I might go triple shrink, yeah. Because triple shrink, like, double shrink is not worth. Because it goes from 40 to 50%. But well, then triple, it goes to 70. So that's a big jump. I might just go triple shrink. And remember, we have a lot of magic and physical damage. And then I probably just two-star this guy. Mm, yeah, kicking Warwick would have been big. I would have played... Like a Scion. Or even a Sejuani. Anything would have been great. Two-star this thing. I'm just gonna put her here. I should have probably duplicated this, but I'm, I'm really trying to go for the Echo. The Echo is kind of tanky. Cybernetic pull, yeah. Look, it's gonna just absolutely kill the whole team in the backline. Look, look at the Jarvan, look at Jarvan. Like, bro. Yeah, very strong. The issue is this guy can hit 6 zone now. He got so lucky with the zone emblem. But he might not even go for 6 zone. Okay, nice. He's losing. That's good. We'll get another duplicator for hopefully a Senna 2. I need to find a Senna. Senna 2 seals the deal, I think. With the Shojin, it's her best item. I could go Mechano Swarm, which spreads the... The thing is, he doesn't have AoE right now. But with Mechano Swarm, he has AoE. But I have heal reduction. I, I don't think I need it. I don't think I need the AoE. I, I just do this, like, next to each other, and then... Like, she's the main unit that needs the armor pen. The main the main enemy that she's attacking needs to have the armor pen applied. I'm not sure if that's the right play, but I already invested into double... Uh, into the double thing. I think I just go triple shrink. Get another duplicator. I think the best thing I can go for, since I don't have a remover for this guy... I think the best thing I can go for is just a uh, rapid fire cannon on Senna. But I will roll down first. I mean, the thing is that Senna is so much better than the Heimer here. I don't need the attack speed. Look, he's getting so shrinked, bro. He's getting triple shrinked. Triple shrink is insane. They just melt to this Ari. Add to this to this Seri. But the thing is that the set is gonna Oh no, never mind. He's gonna get shrink. Ah, oh, never mind. He's not gonna get shrink. Uh, he's he's strong against my team here. Despite the bad items. Despite the bad items here. Uh, I would love to hit 3-star Jarvan, but I don't think I will. I mean, I'm definitely not going level 9, right? So I just roll here. I would love to try to go for a 3-star, but let's be real. We cannot do that. We just need to send out 2, man, with this duplicator. Everyone has 2 2-star two legendaries, except for me, guys. The thing is, I will obviously not hit um, the three star. Like, I will obviously not hit. I got a gunner emblem. Enemies definitely got much luckier. 
Like for sure, it's not even close. Look how fast the look look I mean okay, that's just Jarvan Biff, man. He just dies through Jarvan Hole. I could sell both and buy the two Urgots, but I don't think it's worth. It's just a potential Senna, man. Senna 2 is seals the deal. Rapid Fire Shojin. She has so much attack speed, Shojin, to generate mana. Her uh, ult is so useful, gives us attack speed, gives us shield. I think I have to just go for that little chance. That slight chance of getting that girl. Yep. That's all I'm doing here. This guy has the Kasante, which is really annoying. Has the Kasante, which is really annoying. Nice. Nice, very good, very good, watch this. Kasante kicks him, or kicks him actually, okay. That's fine. Oh, freak, my, my Jarvan ult is in a bad spot though. Wait, why is Kasante here? Oh no. Okay, nice, he died. Okay, I won, I won, I won. Nice, we killed this guy. That's big. Play the boy. He's late. Okay, this guy probably actually survives. His set is really powerful. Yep. Oh, Targon Rise will counter it though. I just countered it with Targon Rise. That is true. Great. No unit for me. No items for me either. Zephyr is obviously great. Uh, I think it's just a hurricane for the Senna. I think it's fine. More attack speed, more Shojin stacks. Warmogs is Warmogs would be okay as well, I guess. Okay. I mean, I survived two rounds. I have Senna too. From another emblem, uh, from another champion duplicator. Is anyone going for a three star? He's go he has five Aries. <laughs> this game is so bad. <laughs> this game is just so bad, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play his uh, Zephyr. He's not even positioning for me. Nice. Alright, this is good. This is a good fight. I think we can win this fight. I think we can win this fight. Targon, and he can maybe kill the... Like, he will kill the guy, because he's Targon Rise. Targon Rise counters Set. Because if the, if the last enemy alive is Set, it just dies. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but I lost to him. I think I will lose then, because he didn't even use Zephyr. And, um... Yeah, Targon Rise, I guess. He hits Rise as well. Again, guys, everybody hit their legendaries at level 8, except for me. That's about it. It's about all we can do. It's about all we can say. Zephyr in the front line. Zephyr in the front line. He's, he's Zephyring, he's benching his Zephyr. Okay, I'm pretty sure I outplayed every Zephyr imaginable. Yeah, I turbo outplayed Zephyr. Uh, we are very clumped though for the Karma, and he didn't switch the Karma to the other side. And the, the Rise as well knocks us up. Probably just dead here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Not much we can do, man. Just not much we can do. Uh, <laughs> not, guys, not having a 2-star Senna, when the other guy has a Rise, the other guy has 2-star Scion, he has 5 Aries at level 8. Not having a 2-star Senna, with the amount of gold I rolled, it is what it is, guys. We'll still take this win, uh, or the second place here. Subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views, and I'll see you next time.